Hello dear traders, 18th of January 2017, I continue with my second strategy using M1 chart plus M30 and H1 chart as filters to follow the bigger trend. I call it video 1 since I'm using on M1 chart video indicator plus moving average also to enter in the trade on H1 you need to have the MACD indicator for filter and I use the standard inputs of 12, 26 and 9. On M30 charts you need to put also the MACD indicator plus moving average crossover, the MACD with the standard inputs and the moving average crossover you need to have two simple moving averages, one with period of two. I will put red color since it's a fast one. And the other one is period of 8, you can put any color you'd like but it's better to be different so you know which one is the fast one and which one is the slower one. So I will keep here the default color and actually I will make it bigger so you know exactly where they're crossing, I will do the same for the two periods. Any platform you're using you can try to make it as much visible as possible so you are sure when the crossing is happening and on M1 chart you need to have your video indicator not all the platforms are using this indicator but make sure you have it and you're not using any other moving averages it's kind of moving average but it's a little bit more complicated when it's created the formula is different and here I will use period of 30 not the standard 9 and I will keep the same color but I will just make it a little bit more solid okay so this is the 30 period video and I will use also a simple moving average with period of 10 and I will use orange color since uh, this is not very fast moving average. So pretty much this is the setup for this strategy and next video I will show you how we trigger the trades. For video 1 the parameters and the indicators needed. As I've said I used best on dollar yen, stop loss of 75 pips and take profit of 25 pips. It's also possible to add to the position but don't forget to reverse if there is an opposite signal. What are the parameters? On H1 you use the standard MACD, on M30 the standard MACD plus two simple moving averages with periods of 2 and 8 and on M1 chart you need to have simple moving average period of 10 plus the video on period of 30 and the rule here is that the video needs to rise. So this is the rule to enter in the trades and I will explain it in the next video.